Hey there, viewers. How many of you wear underwear? I know that's a personal question. I didn't mean to start things off awkwardly. We've all been told to wear underwear since childhood, but do they have the purpose we think they do? Let's talk about what happens to your body when you don't use underwear. Can a yeast infection happen? Will there be a funky odor? Will your skin become irritated? We're talking about both the positives and negatives. Let's get to it. Number one, no skin irritation. We'll start off with a positive note. If you're considering going commando, it can have positive impacts on your skin. For men, not wearing underwear can save you the jock itch. This is a fungal infection that causes red, itchy skin. This rash takes place in warm and moist areas of the body, mainly the groin and inner thighs. It gets the name jock itch due to its commonality among athletes. If you're suffering from jock itch, you'll start by noticing the area around your groin becoming red. This will often spread to the upper thigh in the shape of a half moon. Soon enough, the rash will spread. You might even see tiny blisters. This itchiness is gonna make you wanna scratch away. Now, it may sound like just another rash to you, but jock itch can get much worse. It sometimes develops into an infection. This can give you a fever. If the rash hasn't improved, it's best to see a doctor. Pretty scary, huh? Well, good news. When you're not wearing underwear, you're keeping your skin ventilated. This will help keep that area cool and dry, especially after a hard workout. The trick is to let your skin breathe. Even if you're not at risk for jock itch, you'll still experience a little irritation from time to time. The chances can increase if there's a rough fabric rubbing against your skin. Keep in mind that going commando isn't for everybody. I recommend putting on some comfy pants with underwear and giving it a go first. Before moving on, do you know where the term going commando originated from? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, bacterial exposure. Going commando isn't all great, you know. Not wearing underwear can expose you to bacteria. Your private area carries a lot of it. This is why, underwear or not, it's important to wash your clothes on a regular basis. If you're going commando, you're taking a risk. Wearing the same pants day in and day out can cause a bacterial infection, as your skin's not being refreshed. Even the act of trying on a new pair of pants in the department store is actually kind of dangerous. You could very well be exposing your groin area to someone else's bacteria. You only increase your chances of infection. Living underwear free comes with extra responsibility. To be on the safe side, throw your clothes in the wash after wearing them, even if you've only worn them once. Number three, genital irritation. Now we're getting into the really freaky part. If you're underwear free, it would also be smart to wear loose and comfortable pants. This will lower your chances of both bacterial exposure and irritation. Tight clothing can damage your genital area. If you're a commando, it's even worse, especially for women. Studies have been shown that women who wear slim-fitting pants at least four times a week are at a greater risk for chronic discomfort in the genital area. Regardless of gender, tight clothing can increase moisture and body heat on the genital area. If you happen to get your pants wet, change them out as soon as possible. Leaving your groin area wet for hours on end makes your chances of infection even higher. Number four, protection from allergic reaction. But it seems like it contradicts what we just talked about. Well, not really. If you're carelessly going commando and not taking care of your skin, you'll probably see an infection. If you're doing it properly and taking the right precautions, it can actually benefit you. Different clothing items contain fabrics, artificial dyes, and chemicals that cause allergic reactions on the skin. This can be anything from rashes, bumps, and even blisters. Putting your skin in contact with the wrong fabric will even damage your tissue. It's probably happened to you before. You first notice some discomfort. This is anything from swelling to itchiness. Inflammation can also lead to a burning, fiery rash. These marks can spread from your groin to your upper thigh, buttocks, and around your waist. By going commando, you're lessening your risk for suffering an allergic reaction. This is because your skin is not coming in direct contact with harmful chemicals. It's just one less potentially dangerous fabric you need to worry about. It's also smart to avoid certain soaps and cleaning materials. Any remaining chemicals in your groin area can stick to your clothing, creating more irritation. Before we continue, are you trying to get rid of your heartburn? Check out our recent video discussing 10 at-home heartburn remedies. Now back to our listings of what happens to your body when you don't use underwear. Number five, less of an odor. 
Have you ever smelt yourself through your underwear? It's not a great feeling. A lot happens underneath your clothes, especially in the groin area. If overheated, it'll begin to sweat. This usually will create a really foul smell that only builds over time. When underwear is out of the picture, you are reducing the odor. You see, the moisture from the sweat will have somewhere to go now instead of being trapped to build up over time. By going commando, the sweat will evaporate. Number six, less chafing. For people who haven't experienced it, the idea of chafing is often seen as a joke. I'm here to tell you that it is not. Chafing is a result of friction on the skin after it's rubbed against itself. It can also be damaged from rubbing against clothing. This can cause severe pain along with welts and rashes. While chafing can happen around the underarm or chest areas, groin chafing is considered to be the most painful. It can affect the way you walk. There are several anti-chafing methods that exist. For instance, some people choose certain types of deodorant as well as the appropriate clothing for physical activity. But for the groin area, you might want to consider going commando instead. This way, you don't have potentially dangerous fabric rubbing against the vulnerable part of your body because over time, it will do damage. Number seven, protection from yeast infection. Saying goodbye to underwear can actually reduce your chances of getting a yeast infection. This is a sensitive subject to many, so I'll tread through as quickly as I can. The cotton in certain underwear brands can trap moisture. This makes it easier for bacteria to grow in the female groin area. If you're going commando at night, you might be able to air out the moisture. Taking away the barrier of fabric can allow your lower areas to breathe and kill any bacteria that's looking to build up. If you can't get into the idea of not wearing underwear, at least consider wearing loose pajama bottoms or any article of clothing that reduces tension. Just make sure that you're washing your clothes as much as you can. Number eight, lower sperm count. For the men watching this video, this is gonna hit home. If you're looking to have children, you need to be wearing clothes that helps your you-know-what area to breathe. These parts also need to be at a temperature of about 94 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 34 degrees Celsius. Wearing really tight underwear can increase the temperature around your groin. This does damage your sperm count. Men with a low sperm count are advised to either switch to boxer briefs or to ditch underwear entirely. If the latter sounds best, you'll increase your chances of raising your sperm count, which in turn will raise your chances of having children. Number nine, less acid reflux. I know, it sounded crazy to me as well. Not wearing underwear can reduce the effects of acid reflux. Just remind you, acid reflux is a condition that occurs when a burning pain is felt in your lower chest area. This happens when your stomach acid flows back up your food pipe. Boy, is it uncomfortable. You feel like you're almost choking a little. Believe it or not, this all starts in the body's lower region. Your stomach is situated between your belly button and your breastbone. If your underwear is high enough, it can push against your stomach area or close enough to put pressure on it. Eventually, stomach acid will be pushed upwards. Sure, some might simply adjust the positioning of their clothing, but others might consider getting rid of underwear as a whole. This creates less tension in their mid-region. The human body is a crazy thing. The stomach and digestive area is especially scary if it's not working right. Check out our video on 11 ways to clean gut bacteria. Looking to get ripped? Learn nine ways to flatten your stomach. Are you looking to eat healthier? Maybe get some more fiber into you. Either way, I know you wanna stay in shape during the winter season. Have you ever gone commando? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you.